this is the first time tuning in welcome in this video i'm going to be making like experiences in nigeria so this one's at home with my natural hair salon experience in ibadan to be specific i wasn't going to i watched i think is it shewon okimi on youtube here yeah? i watched a video on a natural hair, um, natural hair salon experience in lagos and she stated the price and of everything that she did and compared to my experience it was mine was rubbish so i've always known this salon i follow them on instagram but i think maybe if you're going there to make like a natural hair style maybe they might be the one but what i went in there for was just for um, a wash and protein treatment and to get a trim as well I contacted them on instagram to ask for how much it was i'm going to probably insert a screen grab of how she sent me the price it's supposed to just be like a package on its own rather than one by one but anyways that was like that. So i'm like sense but because i already had it in mind because i've been natural for like five four four to five years now and since i've been natural i've always done my hair for myself and moving to the uk made it even worse there's nobody to help everything i spent hours making my hair washing detangling and everything and after that making it for myself on my head so i'm like okay when i go to ibadan i'm going to just go to the salon and just have the whole experience of someone else doing my hair so the price was not going to stop me okay, this thing is not even up to 10 pounds everything calculated together so i'm just going to go i'm just going to do it so i told them i was not going to do blow drying because she said blow drying was one five so i told them i was not going to blow dry my hair i wanted to see how they would trim it without the blow drying i know you can trim your hair without blow drying so, okay what am i going to do with my hair after i said let them just do it and before they finish i'll decide what i want to do so just start with detangling first she detangled with something in the spray bottle i don't know what the mix is she was not gentle guys let me just say that she was not gentle okay no i know that i have hair that break like even when i'm doing my hair like it tends to break a lot so i'm usually like extra careful and all that i think that's why i'm not i'm never going to go to a salon again i'll just do my hair myself <laughs> i'm used to it at this point so i don't mind the way she was detangling guys though she didn't use a comb or anything she was doing it with her finger but she was yanking her hands yanking pulling her hands through the air like almost stripping my head of all the strands of my hair by the time she finished detangling i was looking at all the patches on my hair i'm like is my hair not going to finish falling from this detangling process so after she detangled she washed my hair that was fine i didn't mind anything so it was just there this time my hair she um then she did protein treatment and i asked her what protein treatment she was using and she told me it was i can't remember what the name is but guys it didn't feel like a protein treatment to me honestly it did not feel like a protein treatment but i've done a protein treatment myself before and i expect i know what my hair feels like after a protein treatment i have an idea of what i'm expecting my hair to feel like even today when i was making my hair i'm like this thing looked like i did a protein treatment i'm going to have to do a protein treatment again by myself but i'm kind of skeptical because i don't know what they use and you're not supposed to use a protein treatment in like you're not supposed to use protein treatments that frequent so i'm like oh it didn't look like it did anything it's supposed to make my hair stronger isn't it it didn't look like it did anything so i think i'm just going to have to do a protein treatment again anyways that aside she did the old protein treatments and she kept my hair under a steamer and everything and while it was steaming my forehead was burning i don't know i've never been to a, a no, let me say, I've never, I've never had like a salon experience. Usually, growing up, like I just do my hair at hairdresser's place, and that was it. So I've never had like a salon experience. So my front hair like this, it was steaming, and I told her this thing is too hot, and she's like, it's going to finish. It's like it's almost done, and all of that. I understand that it is almost done. There should be something, maybe like a towel or something to just cover my forehead. It was burning, and that went by as well. So after that, so after that, she did the deep conditioning. She rinsed out the protein treatment then she did the deep conditioning the same thing happened during the deep conditioning treatment it was burning my forehead but at some point i think the water like you have to put water in the steam or something i think it even finished she didn't even notice that it finished i was just i was wondering is this thing working because i don't have a steam i don't know it works but i know it's like you're supposed to feel the steam in your hair it was just making the noise i was not feeling anything That's cool. the environment looks nice and a salon is in like an expensive area sort of you have to put that factor that is in but i've also compared the price to a salon in lagos and we all know the way lagos is so i've compared the price to somewhere in lagos so i was the environment itself is nice the salon is nice but the experience is not necessarily natural air salon. i felt like even just going to a regular salon could have done better with my hair 
and not stress my hair they stressed my hair strands out so much so when she was almost um so once she did condition then she started trimming as she was trimming i'm like like i don't know it was just not it was not trimmed enough as i, I mentioned that i've made my hair today i had to trim my hair like i had to trim it over like i still had a lot of dead hands i had to trim my hair myself like it was not worth it it was not worth the price in trimming and she was just going like she was i was expecting her to go in less like in smaller sections but she was going in much bigger sections i'm like you're not going to trim appropriately especially for a hair that is not straight or that is not blue dried or anything it was freshly washed and we we're trimming so i expected a smaller section i expected her to go in a smaller section but at this point they had like other people waiting and it was just one person okay there was like a person that she sort of like the receptionist but if you like they were kind of like helping with loosening hair but i don't think she can wash or or do treatments like that so it was just her so she was kind of like going in a hurry to finish my hair so she can attend to the other people waiting so like with the price you're not supposed to rush through my hair like this. i'm supposed to have the like they were actually pulling through my hair anyways she trimmed it and that was it so after when she was streaming i'm like okay now i'm going to make it like how much would they make um weaving more than eight weaving is going to be 1200 but less than that is 600 i'm like just do less than that <laughs> she just did the weaving on my hair like let me just do the eight and work her when i got to when i showed my hair to me my cousins they're like ah the weaving the is not weaving is um did your law like the did your is like a song that is practicing hair making that make the hair on my head i never will find at all and like i didn't even notice anything in the i funny thing is i didn't even tell them about where i made my hair i just told them that i made my hair like ah why is my hair looking like it's someone that is practicing here that made my hair for me and i had to show it to like an elder mom she's like it's not looking nice at all like, ah where did i make my hair from i'm like so much for natural hair salon that i went to i'm going to put a video of that um, um is it shion okimi yes and I'm not sure if she's the one natural hair salon experience and even after she had a twist like the she did a um she did twist after a wash and everything everything like that and the price compared to the price of what i paid it was nonsense like my experience was trash i wish i had known before i went actually i didn't have like word of mouth review i just knew when salon kind of opened and when i was in because they were selling natural hair products so i was kind of following them for natural hair products if you live in nigeria like there are not a lot of in Ibadan specifically, there are not a lot of stores that stock natural hair products. So I was following them mainly for that reason, for the product and everything. Then I realized they have a salon and everything. And I was going to be in a room like, okay, I might as well go to this salon to have my hair done. That was the reason why I went there and to just have the salon experience. But this my salon experience was was not a nice one. So I think I'll just stick to doing my hair from now. I don't know. No shade, it's just my experience. I think so that's it guys. I won't necessarily say it was a nice experience. And I've come to the end of this video guys like this video give it a thumbs up and please 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button support your girl subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next video bye